Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the feast day of Santa Rosa de Lima the secondary patroness of our country. We pray that Santa Rosa may intercede for the Philippines, but we also ask her that she may teach us the way to Jesus, the way of the cross. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you set Santa Rosa de Lima on fire with your love, so that secluded from the world, in the austerity of a life of penance, she might give herself to you alone. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession, we may tread the paths of life on earth and drink at the stream of your delights in heaven. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with Him, not to be shaken out of your mind suddenly or to be alarmed either by a spirit or by an oral statement or by a letter allegedly from us to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. Let no one deceive you in any way. To this end, he has also called you through our gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught, either by an oral statement or by a letter of ours. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace, encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it redounds. Let the plains be joyful and that all that is in them. Then shall that all the trees that shall all the trees of the forest exalt. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Word of God is living and effective able to discern reflections and thoughts of the hearts. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You pay tithes of mint and dill and cumin, and have neglected the weightier things of the law, judgment and mercy and fidelity. But these you should have done without neglecting the others, blind guides who strain out the gnat and swallow the camel. 
Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You cleanse the outside of cup and dish, but inside they are full of plunder and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee, cleanse first the inside of the cup so that the outside also may be clean. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the feast day of Santa Rosa de Lima, the secondary patroness of the Philippines. That is why you will see when you go outside the cathedral, her image on top of the facade is decorated with flowers in honor of this rose, the flower of God. But we also remember her for her life of prayer and penance. She stripped herself with any riches and indulgences. She lived a life that sometimes and oftentimes is deprived of any self-indulgence, a life of penance. But she did this not just to harm herself, she lived a life of penance so that she could focus on the more important thing in life. She stripped herself of any treasures so that she could focus only on God. Siya po ay nag-aayuno, hindi para pahirapan ang kanyang sarili. Nag-aayuno siya para nakatutok lang siya sa Diyos. And this is the message of Jesus in our gospel passage today to the Pharisees. Jesus said, You have focused on the little things of the law, but you have forgotten the more important parts of the law. Lagi lang kayong nakatutok sa mga maliliit na bagay, kinalimutan ninyo ang mga mas makakalagang bagay. Kaya yan ang ginawa ni Santa Rosa de Lima. Kinalimutan niya lahat ng mga distractions para nakatutok lang siya sa pinakamahalaga sa kanyang buhay, walang iba kundi ang Diyos. And our first reading today from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians remind us also of this. St. Paul said that when we listen to things that are not necessary in life can make us shake, can alarm us. These things that are unnecessary in life can make us suffer. That is why St. Paul reminds the Christians, do not focus on these unnecessary things. Stand firm. Hold fast to the traditions that were given to you, the gospel of Jesus. And then, when you stand firm on this, you will not be alarmed. You will not suffer. My dear brothers and sisters, oftentimes, suffering comes from unnecessary things in life. That is why Jesus reminds us to set your heart on the things that matter. 
Tingnan natin ang buhay ni Santa Rosa de Lima. Alam niyo po si Santa Rosa de Lima, sabi sa tradisyon, ay napakaganda. Kaya Rosa ang ibinigay sa kanyang pangalan para siyang bulaklak sa ganda. Pero kinalimutan niya yung ganda niya. Hindi siya nag-aayos ng sarili. Hindi siya naglalagay ng kolorete sa mukha para mapanatili lang ang kanyang ganda. Para nakatutok lang siya sa Panginoon. Kasi napapansin ninyo minsan, kakafocus ninyo sa ganda, nagdurusa na kayo. Sabi nung isa sa akin, Father, ang mahal nitong cream na pinapahid ko sa mukha ko para lang mapanatili ang kinang ng mukha ko. O ayan, nagdurusa siya. Wala na siyang pera. Kakagastos lang sa ano. Minsan, masyado tayong concern sa itsura natin. Pag nakakita tayo ng mas maganda o mas gwapo sa atin, nagdurusa ang puso natin. Bakit ba, bakit ba mas maganda siya sa akin? No? Nalulungkot tuloy ako. Nakukumpara ko yung sarili ko sa kanya. These things are unnecessary and they cause unnecessary suffering in you. Let us learn from Santa Rosa de Lima. She gave up everything, even beauty. And as Santa Rosa said in her writings, look at me. I am not suffering. In fact, I have freedom. Because I have freed myself from unnecessary things, unnecessary sufferings in this life. And by doing this, I am more free to respond to the mission of Jesus. For many people, when they look at Santa Rosa de Lima and her life of penance, sabi nila, kawawa naman siya. How unfortunate Santa Rosa de Lima is. She did not enjoy life. She was not happy, perhaps. But Santa Rosa de Lima said, When giving up all of this, I am more happy now. I am more free now. My dear brothers and sisters, The Word of God today teaches us to focus on the things that matter. Remove any unnecessary things that may cause unnecessary sufferings in life and set our hearts on the things that truly matter. As we continue this celebration of the Eucharist, let us ask, for the intercession of Santa Rosa de Lima and may her life teach us to always set our hearts on Jesus. Amen. Please stand. Coming together as God's people, We present our needs before the Father, confident that He will grant our requests. For every petition, let us say, Father, bless our heartfelt prayers. Father, bless our heartfelt prayers. That the Church may be conscious of her responsibility to promote social justice by her ministry to the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless our heartfelt prayers. That government officials may be sincere in their effort to provide service and undertake programs for the poor and the dust destitute. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless our heartfelt prayers. That employers and workers may be honest and respectful to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless our heartfelt prayers. That the sick and the disabled may find support 
and assurance from their families and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless our heartfelt prayers that those who have departed from this life may enjoy eternal happiness in the company of the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless our heartfelt prayers. Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generous and sincere hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Santa Rosa de Lima, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santa Rosa de Lima, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of Santa Rosa de Lima, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Sai daqui